Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy and this is Introduction to Audit Command Language. This is the fourth lesson of a series of eight lessons on the topic of ACL. So in this lesson, we're going to cover off classifying and summarizing data. So this is probably two of the most common functions that I use in ACL. It's just super useful, really great way of analyzing or uh, identifying patterns in your data. So enough about me blabbering, let's just get started. So we are going to start from the data set that we had before. So make sure that you check out videos one, two, and three. And so that way you're following along sequentially and you're able to keep pace and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we are going to essentially, I want to know, the question is, I want to have is, are there any particular months where there's abnormal amount of salaries or bonuses? So that's a really good question. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue on in our script and we're going to call it open employee may and then we're going to go on classify on so classify i'll explain the difference between classify and summarize once we actually get there so we're going to classify on it's going to ask you what field do you want to classify on and it has to be a, a text-based field so in this case we're going to use the field month and then we're going to subtotal so in this case you want to It'll tell you what do you want to categorize by. So in this case, I want to categorize by month. And then what do you want to subtotal? I want to subtotal salary and bonus. So I'm going to go salary and then bonus underscore 2002. And then you're going to ask, it's going to ask you to point to a certain table. So in this case, I'm going to call it employee class. And then I'm just going to put an open at the end so that the table opens afterwards. So what you'll see here is it'll tell you the month, the number of transactions that occurred, the number of records, uh, the percentage of the counts, so that's really helpful as well, the percentage of the field uh, total, and then the total of the salary, total, total bonus. So here you can actually sort descending and then see that, okay, in um, September, uh, we have a large amount of salary, but how about for bonuses? It looks like it's actually July. So that's some important insight. Is there a reason why that's occurring? Is July a popular bonus month, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe, for example, I want to split it into where individuals receive more than 10% bonus and less than 10, and those individuals that receive less than 10% bonus. And I want to do a by month by month basis to see if there's any trends or patterns. So what you notice is on classify, I was only able to list one field. And if I were to list multiple fields, it actually wouldn't work. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here and we're going to define new field and we're going to call it a uh, delete field. We're going to call it bonus range and we're going to call, we're going to go delete, delete field bonus range. Okay. Define field bonus range computed. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, yes, greater, uh, or we're going to say, yeah, uh, greater than 10%. If, uh, bonus percentage is, uh, you guessed it is greater than 10 because it's multiplied by hundred. So otherwise make it, uh, less, less than or equal to 10%. So we're going to use that. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to copy this open and we're going to go summarize on a month. And we're also going to say summarize on bonus range. And then we're going to say subtotal salary, subtotal bonus 2002 to employee sum and then what's different here is that we have to use this function called pre-sort because the only way that summarize knows that it basically what it'll do is it will sort on month and bonus. And then essentially what it'll do is it'll keep adding all the records together until it reaches a new field, until it reaches a new month or bonus range. So in order to do that, it actually has to pre-sort. So that's why you can uh, actually take advantage of that. So if we press play 
what you'll see here is now I'm able to uh, summarize both on these fields and it gives me some some insights here. So you can see here that the individuals that had less than 10% bonus also had a higher amount of salary. So that's interesting. Is there some sort of relationship? Do people get compensated in salary as opposed to bonuses? These are all questions that you can dive further into or insights that you can gain easily with just two lines of data. And then what you'll see here is that it doesn't include the percentage of count or percentage of field. So that's also another advantage of doing classify. So a couple advantages. One is classify is quicker because it doesn't need to pre-sort. Uh, it also provides this percentage of count and percentage of field, which can be interesting insights of a, in of, of themselves. But what does summarize have advantage on? It has an advantage on is that you can actually summarize on multiple fields as opposed to just one on classify. And uh, as as well, uh, that's, that's actually probably the, ma the main advantage. And I actually probably use summarize more often because you can apply it to multiple scenarios. But what we're going to do here is in ACL 11, they actually add this new feature in. So this probably won't work if you're using uh, ACL uh, 10 or below. So they actually add this field. If you add statistics at the end, it actually provides some like really interesting insights. So if I go here, employee class, what you'll see here is it not only provides the total salary and total bonus uh, like you requested, it also provides the average salary, minimum salary, maximum salary. So that's really great insight, really quick insight that you can gain from your data just by literally typing the word class uh, uh, statistics. And don't worry, uh, it also does it for summarize. So here it talks about average salary, minimum, maximum. One thing I wish ACL did was uh, actually go and find the median salary because I actually find median is a much more effective number than the average because average can get skewed by these huge outliers and can oftentimes lead to misleading results while the minimum wouldn't be. And I understand it's difficult because you have to find the middle of the record and if it's an even number, then you have to average the 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 two middle numbers but still i, I believe i have i'm a strong believer in median medians over averages so that's classify and summarize really useful you're going to find it's really useful when we combine this with joins and sorts and defining fields so it's super helpful highly recommend that you go and practice it on your own data set and as well practice it on uh, the day that that i'm showing you right now so look forward to speaking to you in the next lesson and uh, have a good day.